How's it going, Jeremiah? I was kind of bored and stuck at home, so I decided to just whip out my very tiny 32 key Native Instrument M32 MIDI controller and try and whip out an epic cinematic game trailer within about 20 to 25 minutes or so and only using one single plugin. Let's have a look at what I did. So the first thing I did is to create a little metronome track. And because this is not a regular beat, it goes like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. If I just use a regular metronome beat, you know, it is not uh, just gonna cut it because it would just go one, two, three, four. So I had to create my own based on this one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So I'll let you have a listen what my metronome sounds like. Three one two three one two one two three one two three one two. The library that we're using today is a pretty affordable entry level orchestral library. Some of the orchestral library can go up to thousands of dollars just for the sounds, and this only costs ninety nine dollars. And this is the Nucleus Orchestral Core Light Edition. So the very first thing I wanted was the brass. So I had a little tune in my mind, which was. So this brass here comes with a classic mix as well as a modern mix. The modern mix is a sound more suitable for cinematic music if you want to do more kind of a classical kind of music. The classic mix will be better, adjusted the reverb accordingly. There are two kinds of samples here. We've got the sustain sample which is a long sound. We also have the staccato sound here. Let you have a listen after what I recorded. This is how it sounds like. So that is the main theme that I wanted to have. And the next thing that I did with my little mini Native Control M32 MIDI controller, I will leave a link in the description below if you are interested to pick this one up. Very lightweight. I can literally pack this laptop and this controller in my backpack and I can create music like this anywhere at a cafe, at a park, anywhere actually. Because this runs off the USB power of the laptop. It doesn't need any batteries, doesn't need any power of its own. So once I've done with the brass melody, I wanted a little string to kind of support it and to emphasize that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. I am actually using the same library, the Nucleus Lite. The full package is $499 for the orchestral sounds. And of course, with that, you have a lot more control over the kind of instruments, etc. But this is good for beginners who just want to try out a very professional, well-sampled library and eventually progress to something more expensive. At $99, I think, you know, just sacrifice a couple of beers, get hold of this, and you can use it with your existing keyboard if you want to. What I did there was I used the string sound and I used the spiccato strings, which is the short strings. And I went one octave lower because I only have 32 keys, I shifted the octave down. So that's what I did. So let's have a listen with the brass. The next thing I did was I wanted some arpeggios that's going on behind with the, the strings and I wanted it to be momentum, that kind of cinematic forward push. So I loaded up the exact same strings library. Also in spizzicato, I played in the higher octave.
And this is how it sounds like with the brass as well as the bass, the double bass. So the next thing I did was that I wanted a drum, a bass drum to emphasize the strong beats. Bum, bum, bum. And I'm going into the same library here. Remember, I'm going to use just one library in this entire tutorial. And I'm using the atonal percussion. You can look at the diagram here of the keys. It will tell you where uh, the bass drum that we want is located. I'm going to look for it now. Nope, that's not the one we want. So this is the one I did. Bum, 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 to emphasize that. And this is the result of that recording. Bum, bum, bum. Now, with the brass instruments, the uh, string bass, as well as the spizzicato strings, this is how it sounds like. The next thing I wanted to do was to add a bit of a snare drum. Again, back to the same library, I'm using the snares. And this was the result after I recorded it. And when you add the rest of the tracks, So the next thing I did was that I wanted to emphasize the ending. So that I used a kettle drum or a timpani sound. So that's what I did. Bum. And I wanted a very dry sound, so I actually turned down the reverb all the way so you can hear the result. All right, so let's listen with the rest. The timpani is coming in. Bum, bum, bum. Right, you can hear once more. Now that we've done with that, I wanted a little bit of tinkling sound behind. So I will be using from the exact same Audio Imperia Nucleus Orchestral Core Light Edition and I'm going for the Glockenspiel. So I did a bit of recording of the Glockenspiel here. Just little accent. It's all these tiny little things that adds to the actual final product. You can hear the little tinkling behind. Okay, once we've done with that, I also want a little bit of a symbol. So here is the symbol that we have here at the end. And this symbol goes along with the timpani. Bum, bum. You can hear that symbol there. I just wanted that symbol for the extra ending there. And the final one, I had the choir, the male voice choir, the second part of the song. I didn't want it in the first part of the song. I just wanted the choir to come in at the second part of the song. So you get a little bit of a development. So auto imperious nucleus orchestral core light edition link is in the description you can check it out and if you want to get this exact same midi controller really very portable just pack it in my bag and i can bring this everywhere so here we have the orchestra uh, the choir sorry i got a package just gotta give me a second more stuff came in the mail all right let's just continue with this so the first part of the song, the choir doesn't come in. All right, 
So that was a total of 10 different tracks that I did for this short cinematic game trailer. And of course, later on, I'll apply some effects to the vinyl mix, do a bit of compression, you know, a bit of limiting to make sure that it doesn't clip the audio and export it. I hope you enjoyed this small little tutorial. If you like more tutorials like this, do let me know in the comments down below. And of course, feel free to check out the link to Audio Imperius. A nucleus core orchestral plugin there you realize that everything was just done using one single plugin and using this very very tiny hundred odd dollars uh, midi controller keyboard here my name is jeremy c and i'll see you soon in my next video bye bye